So these are lenses that we put into people's eyes after we take the cataract away. Cataract means the lens inside the eyes go uncloudy. We take it away. And if we left you without a lens, that would actually mean you have to wear really, really thick spectacles. So we do calculations to try and put a lens into the eye that allows you to see, usually for distance. Norm normally, and on the NHS, we use an ordinary monofocal lens. That means that we focus the light to one point. So you put the lens in, distance should be clear, although there is some variability, but your intermediate and near vision is compromised, so it's quite blurry. That can annoy people when they're looking at their mobile phone, their tablet. It can be very, very frustrating, or even the dashboard they can't see clearly. We do have a whole bank of what we call um, other premium lenses, which are designed to give distance and near vision at the same time, but they are fraught with problems. And so these premium monofocal lenses were developed. You have to be slightly cautious of the word premium because it makes it sound like if you throw enough money at things, you get the best possible thing. And indeed, these are a good lens to have. And certainly it's a lens that I'd probably have it in my eyes if I was having this done. They give you distance vision, but also some degree of intermediate vision as well. So hopefully, and the emphasis is on hopefully, as there are no guarantees with any of this stuff, is that we can give you distance vision and intermediate vision as well. And that is the nature of the premium monofocal lenses. They're cleverly designed to give you more power in the middle of the lens. And that means that you get distance, but then when you look close up, hopefully you can see. I think these lenses are suited to anybody having cataract surgery. They just give better visual quality of life in that they give you more depth of focus. So rather than you having just one image clear at distance, they give you a bit closer vision. So when you're out shopping, you can see the label, you can look at your phone, and really everybody is suitable for them. If you have significant problems at the back of the eyes, you do question whether it's worth the extra investment on getting the, these, these lenses, because the whole point is they're supposed to deliver the intermediate vision. And if you've got very poor vision anyway, with what we call a guarded prognosis, so we don't know what you're going to get, you do question whether it's worth the extra investment. But in general, these are suitable for most patients. One of the unique bits about it is that we can actually try and give people distance, intermediate and near vision at the same time by doing something called offsetting. So we set one eye for distance, usually the dominant eye, and the other eye for a bit more short-sighted. This allows you to use one eye for distance, so you can see clear in distance, you get an intermediate image as well. The other eye we set for intermediate, and that gives you a near image as well. And hopefully with both eyes working together, we can get relative spectacle independence. Again, there are never any guarantees about this. There's lots of things that can not quite go, go to plan either surgically or with our calculations. But that is the plan of this. So I think they're really suited for everybody. But in particular, if you're still active, if you're still working, if you still want a depth of focus and not to be so reliant on spectacles, they're ideally suited for you. So far, they've been proven to be very, very safe lenses. They have the same safety profile as the ordinary monofocal lenses, which are well established. We mentioned about the other premium lenses and they work by splitting the light energy off into different places. So for example, the trifocal lenses split the light energy off 50% for distance, 30% for near, and 20% for intermediate. We reduce the light intensity down an awful lot. The bifocal lenses split at 60-40. And that energy reduction can be notable for some patients and can be frustrating for them. Whereas these lenses use 100% of the light energy and they're much more forgiving in the depth of focus they, they give. It's much more functional vision and much more comfortable vision than the ordinary monofocals. They can't really cause complications per se, but cataract surgery itself or lens exchange surgery does have in inherent risks. But we know that these lenses work well. They don't tend to cause problems with light, which we call dysphotopsias, where you get glare and things like that, and the halos around things. So they seem to be very well, well tolerated. They've only been around sort of about three or four years, so they're pretty new still. But certainly in my experience, when I put in, let's say, 10 of these a week, is that it works very, very well, and patients tend to be very, very happy with them. So it's important to understand that even when, when we take the cataract away, we take the opaque lens away and we sharpen up your vision. Even with an ordinary monofocal lens, your vision will be sharpened up, albeit you'll be set for distance or reasonably close to distance. And for intermediate and near, you will require spectacles. But with those spectacles, your vision will be very good. So premium monofocal lenses don't deliver better vision per se, but they give a better depth of focus and a much more variable degree of vision. So you can see distance and you can see intermediate. For example, if you had an ordinary monofocal lens, the one which is typically used on the NHS, 
you'd walk around the shops, but then you'd pick up your phone and you couldn't see it clearly, so you'd have to reach for your spectacles. If you picked something up off the shelf, you couldn't see it clearly, you'd have to reach for spectacles. With the premium monofocal lenses, even when they're both set for distance, the aim would be that you can pick up your phone and you can see it. You can pick up something and read the label. This isn't crisp, perfect vision. And if you're gonna sit down and do proper reading, then you will probably require reading spectacles. But it is pretty good vision. And certainly that depth of focus and that flexibility of vision is very, very handy. We don't wanna be ageist about this because actually whatever age you are, you benefit from, from this the depth of focus. But it does tend to be more the younger people who are still active who need to see their dashboard while they're driving and see clearly. They're the ones who really benefit from it. But it does improve the visual quality of life, but it doesn't per se improve vision. The very nature of these lenses is that they are monofocals, albeit tweaked and a little bit cleverer than the ordinary monofocals. So they don't split the light energy off. Some of the other lenses have concentric rings on them that give a lot of glare. These are inherently quite safe. And certainly in my experience of putting in several, several hundred of these now is that they work really well with very few side effects. We don't really have enough data to say for certain what they're like for the long term, but certainly the safety profile early on is very, very good. And the nature of them and the science behind it is very, very sound. So in my experience, it works really, really well. And I haven't seen any negative impact so far. I have had a few patients where they are very, very long sighted, or very, very short sighted, and they experience a bit of difficulty adapting to their new vision, but then their brain works it out and then they can see. But that's the only thing I've seen so far. Otherwise, they're very well tolerated and the outcomes are fantastic.